Hi there and welcome to the sixth lesson in this series on using Google Docs. Now last time we started to make a brochure for a squash club and we inserted two images. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create and insert other kinds of images. Let's take a look. So what we're going to do is go into the insert menu to insert this time a drawing. Now as soon as we click on that, we're going to get another dialog box that appears on screen. And this now is our canvas with which we can draw pictures, drawings, that can go into our Google Doc. So the first thing I'm going to do is from this menu select a shape. And the shape that I would like is this rounded rectangle. Once I've got that in place, I click and drag to draw the rectangle. I think that should be big enough. And you'll see that it gets an automatic fill of blue and a border of black. I think that's absolutely hideous. So I'm going to change both the fill color and the border color. First thing I must make sure of is that I have selected the shape. You can see that it's selected by the handles that appear. Here is the menu for fill color. So as normal, just click on the drop down arrow and we're going to get our new fill color. So I'm going to make yellow. Here is the option to change the line color, the border color around the rectangle. And I'm going to change that to blue. But the other thing that I want to do to my border is actually thicken it up a little bit. It's a little bit narrow for me. So once again, select the rectangle. And from this menu here, which is the line weighting, I'm going to choose a slightly thicker weight. I'm going to make it 8 pixels. Nice, big, fat border. But to make it just a little bit more interesting, I want to make that border a dotted line. Now that I've got my shape ready, now we can start to enter some text in. And Google Shapes drawings allow you to do this in a very, very simple way. All that we really need to do is click and start typing, and it converts this whole image into a text box for us. But I've got some real text that I'd like to paste here that I've copied before the lesson. There is the, the text that, that is going to become um, the main body of my brochure. But I just need to quickly align this text a little bit. I need to firstly make it bigger. So there is my text size. I'm going to make this 18. So it fills maybe a little bit even bigger, 24. Yep, that's looking good. So it fills the border, uh, the, the shape nicely. But just like any other text box in any, any other kind of word processing program, we can format the text inside this text box just the same way as you would do in an ordinary document. Let's take a look. So I'm going to select the text that I would like to format, I'm go into my menu, and the first thing I would like to do is to change the font. And I'm going to use the trusty Comic Sans font. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to align this text to the top. So I'm going to use the alignment menu option here, and there is the align to the top option. Great. Now we are ready to insert this drawing into our Google Doc. And that is a really, really simple procedure. All that I need to do once I've finished my editing is click on the Save and Close button. And there is our text box inside our document. Oh, things have gotten a bit but unaligned here, so let's do the text wrapping and so we can move things around. So I want this to be nicely centered in the middle of my document. So looking good so far, but I've forgotten to do something inside this text box area here. So all I need to do to edit this drawing again is to simply double click on it and the same canvas appears. Although in this case, I want to add another text box to this shape. And that's the text box button over there. So click that, and we can draw another text box. And I'm going to type some additional text into this, into this box. Now you'll notice that uh, this is looking a little bit messy. We've got text on top of other text. I can move this text box around and put it perhaps in that open space. But that doesn't make much sense to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the, um, the shape here a little bit bigger so that there's more space for me down here at the bottom. So like always, click and drag to increase the size of the object. Maybe make it a little bit bigger down at the bottom. And suddenly, I've got extra space down here at the bottom 
for my new text box. And this maybe this font is a little bit small, and it's also not in the same font style. So let's change that to Comic Sans, and let's make its size a little bit bigger as well, and drag it across so that the text fits in nicely. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to align the text inside this text box to the right, and we are done. So our brochure, our post is almost finished. There's just a couple more things that I want to show you about setting up this page. The first thing is that this squash racket is looking a little bit small, so I'm going to just make it a wee bit bigger. And I'm going to now also, I'm going to increase the margin at the top of the page. So we go from file into page setup, and we just increase this, mar uh, sorry, decrease this margin a little, top margin to one, click on OK, pushes it a little bit closer to the, to the top. And over here you will notice some other buttons on the ruler that determine the page margin. As you mouse over, you'll see that your mouse changes from a double-headed arrow to the normal arrow, and the callout changes from left indent to left margin. It's the left margin that I'm looking for. And I just want to increase that a little bit on the left-hand side and find the same right margin function on the right-hand side, increase that a little bit. So you can see that you can change the margins either using the ruler function here, or you can go into the page setup menu as we have done before. Now, while we're in this page setup menu, the last thing I want to show you is the page color. Very, very simple. Click on the drop-down arrow, and you can change the page color to whatever color you would like. Let me just show you what that does. Click on OK. You can see it changes the entire page color, in this case to gray. But that's looking horrible because the backgrounds of my images are white. So I'm going to change that straight back to white. And we are now ready to print out our brochure and uh, get people training for the upcoming league. Well, thanks very much for joining me for that lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I'll see you next time.